while audio mixing is a different title than this, it's really a great idea to do just a little mixing of your audio before it ever comes to the timeline. And I'm going to show you that by opening up two tools. I'm going to open up what's called the audio tool. And the audio tool sits back and shows me the relative levels of a clip playing back. Uh, mind meds and other pharmaceutical medications. And now this guy comes through very loud. And the big thing I'd like to point out is I'm just going to shrink this down so we can see this a little bit better is that this clip's a little too hot to be for us to be editing with. We generally would like our foregrounds to be averaging around zero VU, and he's averaging pretty high. They recorded him pretty hot. He's averaging, I would say, about towards minus four. Addicted to television and porn and shopping, and, uh, and that would all be fine. And in fact, he's peaking even a little bit. The other tool we need is what's called the audio mixer. And when the audio mixer appears here, I'd like you to see in this case, we happen to have this guy was recorded in stereo, although at the moment it's considered a pair of mono tracks connected to him. And I'm just going to group these two. That's what this little button up here is for. It's called grouping. And now I'm just going to pull him down. Now he was, he was averaging about up here towards about minus four, maybe minus set six. I'd like him to be averaging around minus 20, and I'll just do the quick math, and I'll take him down about 13 decibels. You just click on one of these sliders and take him down to about minus 13 or so. You'll notice that because these, again, were grouped, they both came down simultaneously. When I click on him and I hit play, Fine. if the consequences weren't basically the... His volume levels are just where they're supposed to be for the interview. And the beautiful part about this is now that I've actually done this, every time that I use him, every time that I use this interview, his audio levels will be about the right level. He's going to be a, an interview clip, something that's a background clip or otherwise known as B-roll. And I'm just going to throw this into a bin to open this up. I'm just going to open up a street shot here. These are just the sounds of people. So I'm going to go ahead. I don't think that one's that interesting. Let's see the other one. Let's play a little bit of this. It's also a little hot. It's sitting up around an average of about minus 14. And for background elements, I like them around minus 30 or so. So they're really definitely in the background. And this is not going to be, if we do decide to use this audio, it'll be a background piece. I want to take this down about 16 decibels or so. They're still ganged here. I'm going to take my controls on my audio mixer. And I'm just going to pull this down to about minus 15 or 16. And when I play this back, you can also click down here at the bottom if you wanted to type in minus 16, enter key. I'm going to go ahead and play that back. And this is about the good level for a background element. So as a general rule, while I'm initially playing my clips, I have my audio mixer open and I have my audio tool open so I can sit back and get the general ballpark levels before I actually edit. And while this title isn't about mixing audio, this is a great good habit for you to have as an editor is to pre-mix your audio before it comes to the timeline. You could always reset it and adjust it back to a different volume level later, but it's a good beginning thing to do for your clips.